there folks. Today I'm here to talk to you about this device that I got a few months ago before Mac left the country. Actually he left me this little yellow device which a lot of you guys out there probably have heard of named Extractor by Sawyer or it is also called a Sawyer Extractor. Now the thing about this device, it is supposed to actually um, create a vacuum chamber which theoretically should suck out any amount of venom that has been introduced to someone's body. And if you stop to think about it, it, it kind of uh, sounds logical because, uh, you know, you would think that the, the same channel which uh, led the venom inside the body could be used to extract the venom from the same hole, from the same uh, chamber. But that's not quite what happens. Now one of the main risks for people down here in Brazil uh, when they go to the bush is the threat of a snake attacks. We have a whole bunch of uh, dangerous species here that indeed represent a threat for people out there in the bush uh, when, I, when I go out there, you know, my main concern is basically snakes. I'm, I'm, I'm watching out everywhere, you know, the lower branches on the ground. And these guys, they can be really close to you and you, even know, you wouldn't even know it. Because uh, their camouflage is so good and they are so well adjusted to the, 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 the landscape in terms of their camouflage that it makes it really difficult for for you to notice the presence of such an animal around you, near you, uh, until it's too late in many cases. So when I first um, heard of this uh, device, the, the, the venom extractor, I was so glad because apparently it was the, you know, a, a very good help uh, to buy you some time by removing some of the poison, some of the venom, until uh, you can be removed, you can make it to a hospital in an area where uh, you would uh, receive the proper treatment. That's what I thought at first. Now after I shot the Portuguese review on, on the extractor, a good friend of mine, uh, Luis Varela from Portugal, actually sent me down a message on, on my inbox, in my inbox tell me uh, about uh, the, 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 the extractor. He actually sent me down some uh, research, some studies that he had that told a very different story regarding the extractor. So I am really thankful to my good friend Luis Varela for opening my eyes to the risks and dangers of using the extractor and that's what we are going to talk about here now. Now making a local incision and doing the, the suction was actually a very standard procedure for a lot of medical associations. Uh, in the USA for instance it, it was a standard procedure advocated by the American Medical Association and also the Wilderness uh, Medical Society. And even here in Brazil, you can still find a lot of places where people will share this kind of information using uh, suction to treat this kind of wounds. Uh, if I am not wrong, the Brazilian Army Survival Manual is one of these books which will uh, advocate and recommend and suggest this kind of technique to treat uh, such types of wounds. Well, they soon realized that it was not a very wise thing to do for many reasons. They were having uh, infection problems caused by uh, either using a blade uh, to cut that area which, which was wounded already, which had been wounded already. Uh, so by cutting it, you know, we could actually worsen the, the situation there. And also by having someone else, you know, uh, touching the area with their mouth, their lips and sucking out fluids out of someone's body. That's not a good idea either because either the person who had been wounded by the snake could get infected by the other person's uh, viruses or whatever 
uh, the other person had in his on his mouth, or vice versa. You know, the person actually trying to suck out the poison could get uh, infected by any viruses or disease that would uh, get to his body. Uh, you know, in the in the fluids that were coming off, coming out of the other person's uh, body. So this is very complicated, right? It's this fluid exchange. It's not really. Uh, recommendable. This is not something people should go for. It was then that they had the idea to come up with these uh, mechanical devices and uh, the, 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 the extractor, the soy extractor, is one of these products. And then uh, three different studies and research were carried out uh, independently and the three of them came to the same conclusions regarding the poison extractor. Well, in the first study, uh, they didn't use real poison. They were they used another uh, material, another chemical to replace the poison, uh, and they actually shot a certain amount of that material under the skin of a person, and they tried to retrieve that material with uh, the extractor. And despite the fluids and everything that the device sucked from inside the body. Uh, the amount of material, material that represented the poison, the venom, they were actually able to retrieve uh, between 0.04% to 2.0%, which is very minimal amount of uh, venom to justify using this uh, device. Now in the second study, they indeed shot an amount of uh, uh, rattlesnake venom and some animals, like some pigs, if I'm not wrong. Now what happened is, when they applied the extractor on the area, the skin around the area where the, 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 the cup had been applied, it, uh, it presented a much worse swelling. And uh, after some time, the whole, the whole area necrosed, and the tissue died. They, they, they had some significant uh, tissue loss there. And the same tissue problems were observed with human beings that had been uh, treated using the, the, the extractor. And as a consequence, the time the wound took for healing was much, much uh, longer than it would have taken naturally. Now a third study actually revealed that more venom would naturally ooze out of the wound if you allowed the time for it to do so than if, you tr than if you tried to suck out the poison by using the extractor. As a matter of fact, the amount of venom present within uh, the fluids that were extracted were much uh, less than the, the, the amount of venom that can naturally uh, ooze out of the wound. Now, all these aspects we have pointed out here, they have to do with uh, snake venom. The reason I'm saying this, it's because apparently the device, the extractor, will work better with uh, insect attacks, for example, like a spider bite or scorpion bite. I know that because Cody Landin says on his book, 98.6, The Art of Keeping Your Ass Alive, uh, that he himself has used the extractor successfully uh, to treat uh, like scorpion uh, wound, a scorpion attack, and apparently the thing worked out really well. So that's it people, just wanted to let you know, I, I think this is an important information about the, the, the soy extractor, especially because I myself used to think that it would be a very good option regarding uh, snake attacks, but I don't think it is the case, you know, like we discussed here, using the, the extractor can actually worsen the cases uh, when people have been actually attacked by these animals. So the best treatment, the best option is still is, you know, get a cell phone, call some rescue, or find a way to, to get the person uh, removed from the area where the accident happened and be taken to a hospital or somewhere else where uh, he or she can receive the proper treatment. 
So I hope you like this little information about the extractor, the Sawyer extractor. This was Juliano Tonio from Brazil, and I'll see you in the bonus.